This Week on In the Field, an evening shoot at the Cathedral in Seville, Spain. Welcome back, everyone. My name is Scott Davenport here with another dose of In the Field for you. This uh, series where I take you with me on a photo shoot and share some of the thought process that went into uh, making a particular picture. And you know, why do we do this here? Or why do I keep coming back week after week? Uh, I, I think it's good to share experiences as photographers. It uh, lets us all grow and improve our craft. Speaking of which, I'd love to hear from you, any experiences that you've had on a shoot, you know, eureka or aha moments, or even just to say hi. So, you know, shoot me a message uh, through my website, leave a comment on the video, and, uh, you know, we can all improve our craft together. So, to the shoot, so uh, I was fortunate enough to spend several days in Seville, Spain, which, you know, it's a, a lovely city. Uh, the, the core of it's very compact, and it's really a lot of it centered around the cathedral in the center of the city, like many of the you know uh, medieval is that the right term cities in Europe where they were centered around you know a, a mosque or a cathedral or a church or things like that, and uh, Seville is no exception. It's got a, a beautiful cathedral, uh, you know, smack dab in the center of the city. So I went out there to. Uh, Photograph it, of course. So let's take a look at Seville on the maps and a little footage from the shoot. So here is Spain, and Seville is in the southern part of the country. Let's so zoom in here. Rotate that back a little bit. And the historical center of the city is down around here, and the cathedral sits right there. I'll switch to the satellite view and zoom in just a bit more. And you can already see that this cathedral is really large when you compare it to the rest of the buildings in the city. And it is a fantastic piece of architecture. It's just wonderful to look at both inside and out. So I was wandering all around the structure looking for different compositions, different perspectives. Uh, let me just take you out to the field and I'll show you what I found. This is my first night in Seville, staying very close to the cathedral in the heart of the city. I'm just wandering around, uh, made one lap around the cathedral already, looking to do another, and uh, just you know, eyeing up different compositions and what's going to look nice. Uh, I'm certainly not going to be able to squeeze the entire cathedral into a shot because there's just not enough space. You know, there's a lot of other buildings and things all around the square, which in and of themselves make some very interesting shots. A lot of nice uh, leading lines, repeating patterns with, uh, with columns and uh, even chain link. So I'm going to spend a bunch of time walking around here and just you know, soaking it all in and uh, coming away with, I'm going to expect one or two really nice shots. Well, I have been around this cathedral about three times now, and uh, my favorite compositions are actually those that don't attempt to get the entire building in. Now, uh, presently, I'm going to play the tourist. I'm going to take the obligatory shot of the front of the cathedral. And then there's a uh, spot around the corner from this where it's just a, a closer view of just a few of the spires and a few of the you know, buttresses. I think I'm going to use that uh, once the blue hour really sets in. So um, I was really disappointed with the results from this shoot. Uh, I reviewed some of the images on the back of the camera the next morning. They were you know, okay. I, you know, I can show you a couple of them here. Uh, but, they, but they were a lot more snapshotty, I was here type shots. And I'm glad I have those because this was part of a vacation and this part of my memories of being there. But you know, from a photographer's perspective, I just didn't feel like I captured the real story of this cathedral and, and you know, came away with you know, a, a, just a, a solid backdrop of this cathedral and Seville and what it meant to be there. So I went out again a second night to shoot around the cathedral. So let me show you some footage from that outing. I've come out a second night here to take one more crack at the cathedral. There are some clouds that are off in the sky there. I'm hoping I get a little more to come over this uh, top of the cathedral here as the sun goes down. As it looks right now, not too hopeful. But uh, I will get a different perspective on the, the square as well as the church. It's nearly time for blue hour, and this is roughly the composition that I have. Uh, something I'm 
cognizant of is the lower left area where these folks are walking through right now. That's kind of some dead space. So once I've gotten the main shot with the cathedral lit up, the sky nice and blue, I'll be sitting here waiting, and there are horse-drawn carriages that come through, and they tend to go through right through that section of the frame. Which I hear one coming now. <laughs> and so uh, I will take some extra shots, uh, having to play with the ISO to bump it up, because I want to get a drag on the motion of the carriage. Uh, you give it a little bit of blur, a little bit of feel of motion. But by the time it's... Uh, you know, well into the time I'm shooting the cathedral, it's going to be very dark. So I'll bump up the ISO quite a bit so uh, I can keep the shutter speed at around uh, a second or so. I was much, much happier with what I came away with uh, from the second night. Here's the final image that I put together. And I just I like the story here, the horse-drawn carriage, the cathedrals in the background. You've got a feel of the square surrounding the cathedral. And, uh, you, you know, you can imagine this uh, several hundred years ago, what it might have been like to live in Seville. And, you know, other than maybe the, uh, the street lamps, thinking of them as gas lamps or oil lamps or something. Uh, this just gave me, a, a, I don't know, I, I felt a lot better about the story being told by this picture than I did with the uh, you know, close-up shots of portions of the cathedral I took the previous night. And that uh, brings us to the tip of the week. The tip of the week is to... Remember the story. I mean, that's what you're trying to do with a good photograph. You know, any, any of the great photographs you'll ever see from any genre, they all tell a story. And I lost sight of that the first night I was so fixated on the cathedral itself and not the cathedral in the setting of Seville and the story that can surround you know, that particular area of the city. So remember the story. So that is it for this week in the field. I hope you've enjoyed it and you got uh, something out of it. If you did, give me a plus one, a like, a thumbs up, some type of comment, anything to let me know that you've you know, gotten something useful out of this episode. Those you know, little you know, one-click things, as, as, as fast as it is for you to do, that really is meaningful to me. That's a great way of feedback to let me know that you're getting uh, information out of this, the information is useful, and uh, you know, it's, these experiences are helping you as a photographer. And speaking of experiences, again, if you've got your own, I'd love to hear from you. Give me a shout through my website. You can contact me directly there, and I do my very best to answer each and every email. Until next time, my name is Scott Davenport, and happy shooting.